Hey guys, welcome back. Another update video, kind of. I, I thought I was sort of done with my update videos, but anyway. As I had the problem with the decal falling off. Where are my glasses? With the decal falling off of, or falling off, what the heck am I saying? Getting pulled off of that side of the car, I had to order a new decal set and it was even one day late it got here was supposed to be here yesterday today is wednesday um what's today's date the first february the first and jack's gone february the 11th and i got my decal sheet so all i've got to do is replace the one on the other side however and isn't that looking just wonderful love it love my wheels um i don't want to give too much away but um, the only thing is, is okay, so right here where the decal sits, right there, um, I obviously I covered it, it hung over the wheel well, which is the way it's supposed to look, and there's bare metal foil over it. Now, I may just have to redo the bare metal foil on the other side because what it is now is I've already got the foil on this fender. Now, when I put that, uh, crazy thing when I put that decal on it's gonna hang over my bare metal foil and I don't want to take a chance ripping the darn thing although I do got two chances now because I got two the decal sheets got a left and a right and I can use they're the same so if I mess up I can always use a second one but anyway don't want to so I've got the bare metal foil on that fender and hopefully just hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to get it done Got my interior tub in it. I got a shifter right there that I'm going to put in. My friend Alan Qualls, he 3D printed me some shifters and I think that's cool. It's going to have a few little hop ups. That's it. Mainly the uh, big Hemi and a, uh, a nice shifter. It's got a stock steering wheel, stock seats, uh, cool stock appearing wheels. The center caps are not in them yet, but going to be a nice looking ride. So I'm going to get the camera set up and let's lay a decal stand by alrighty here we go so I have the decal cut out um, these decals are just printed on a sheet you have to remove the decals like individually they're not they're not like got to cut out piece of adhes adhesive backing the whole thing is adhesive backing so you have to cut these out so I got it cut out and I got it cut to length so I can fit it right by, right in front of that scoop and it will go up into the front. I had applied some decal setting solution. Let me see this camera. And you can see the black right there. That is where the decal set down into the groove. So I've got to make sure I cover that with the new decal. But got my warm water right here. It's, it's warm and it ain't real hot no more. And, uh, so I'll put the decal in, face down so it doesn't curl up. Oops, curled up immediately. Man, it really curled. Okay, there we go. Get in there and we'll talk in just a second. I watched James Tester over at Scale Model Experiment. I think that's what how his channel is, Scale Model Experiment. Yeah, I think so. James Tester, anyway. He lived out in Phoenix, now he lives in Ohio. But anyway, he's good with... Uh, really good with decals and I watched a video of his uh, him doing some decal work and uh, he was I was learning some things like never use a dry q-tip to move it around always use a wet q-tip to move the the decal around and I learned several things putting them face down so they don't curl up um, I had one come off last time though come off the darn paper you talking about a it was hard to get it to lay down but anyway I'm um, gonna take some water let me get this other tissue, this paper here, so this will stay up. Get some water and before this decal completely turns loose, and wet the uh, area where I'm going to be putting it. And let's see, I think it is about. Oh yeah, it doesn't take long with these decals; they come off really easy. And man, look at there! That one's broken. How do you like that? Do you see that? 
that just broke holy cow i'm gonna try and put it on anyway and maybe be able to use that i don't know um we shall see let me just try this there's nothing that'd be good practice i can't believe i just had a broken decal wow okay now this isn't going to come off with it okay there we go dang it bad luck is my middle name actually procrastination is my middle name Bad luck is my uh, first name. Nice to meet you. So let's see if I can get this little piece of decal on the front here. This is ridiculous. I can't believe it already. Oh, and I got to bring it down over the bare metal foil. Like so. And then make sure it's straight. Dang, I can't believe it's cut. That is crazy. All right, let me see if I can get this on there. Let me wet this first. I wish it would stick to this. Q-tip, sort of, kind of. Of course not. All right, let me see if I can get it to stick and then maybe move it around a little. Okay, got it, got it on there. Let's see if I can move that broken piece. Man, that stinks. What the heck? I if I can make that look right. I think I can. Okay, first I've got to get the, the decal where it needs to be before I can get the, that little part where it needs to be. I'm going to hold this and kind of try to push out some of this water. Got a lot of water in it. And I've learned they will not stick if there's water under them. You can push all you want unless you get that water out. It ain't doing nothing. Man, I can't believe that decal broke. That is insane. Okay. Come down a little right there. So I'm trying to get it in place and then take a dry one. And, uh, okay, I'll look down it to see how crooked it is. Oh, yeah, it's going uphill right there. Used to come down. Just a hair, as we say down south. Just a hair. Which messed up my... Reference the other side. Pretty close. Look down. Looks pretty... Pretty good. Looks like it needs to come down just a smidge in the... In the front here. Yeah, let's see if I can reposition that darn thing. That looks pretty good right there. I don't think anybody ever noticed, but I got to get the water out from under it without it moving. That'll be a chore. Try to squeeze out some water here. Matthew, we've seen a million people put on decals. This is boring. But you've not seen me put them on. That's the thing. You've not seen me do it. Because I don't like decals just for, oh shoot, just for this reason, right here. I don't like them. They're not my friend. I have friends in other areas of modeling. Like, I like painting. Seems to be a friend of mine. I like, you know, uh, that's about it, painting. I like gluing seats in, you know, the easy part of it. Whatever. All right, let's get her back in place. Let me zoom this thing in, see if you can see what I'm doing here. It'll probably be so out of focus, you won't be able to tell anything. All right, you see that tip? See if I can position it. And I've got the other one. Heck, it might be broke too. Might have a big old cut right down the darn middle of the decal sheet for all I know. But if I can get this to stay, I'll be as happy as a lark. It's another southern thing, a lark being a little bird, singing all the time. Oh man, this is going to move. Yep. Darn sure did. Try to get some more water out from under my decal.
there. Oh. And right there. I might just fire the dehired. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I, I was, forgot I had it close up. So I got that little piece. Oh, there's a little bit of a... Anyway, I'm going to put that in the... No, let me zoom it back out. Sorry. Not the best at this whole video and thing. You ain't telling us nothing. Alright, so. Got that, um... Got that on there. It looks pretty straight. Seems to be even as far as the... How it's over the front fender. Um... I may put it in the dehydrator to dry that decal out so I can tell a little bit more about it. I think, oh no, it still moves. Looks pretty close. But I can't really, can't really get it dried out because it's, uh, it moves. All right, so I'm going to put it in the dehydrator. I'll be back in a second. While I'm waiting on that to uh, to dry up a little bit, that decal, I wanted to mention one thing. Um, I have a man that I met. I've, I've met him at two different model car shows. Great guy. Wonderful builder. And he started a YouTube channel. It's just growing really fast. It's doing great on its own. But I wanted to give a quick shout out to... Uh, Hanging, hanging with Mr. G Seeds. That's the that's the uh, the the channel name. I, I'll put it in the description of the video. But it's it's Gary Seeds is his name. You might have heard uh, Jason at Blue Ox Model Shop mention it already. But uh, Gary Seeds is a an absolute phenomenal painter, one to one, and he takes that one to one knowledge and he takes it and puts it on uh, you know one twenty fourth fifth scale uh, cars and and things. But he is a, uh, he's, he, his paint style is like, uh, it reminds me a lot of the Southern California lowrider scene, this pinstripes, a lot of the 60s style faded type of uh, 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 paint jobs and just an absolute wonderful builder. I've seen his builds. I saw his builds for the first time at the North Charleston show, the very first model show I ever went to, and I was blown away. First show anyway, I was blown away, but when I saw his stuff, he had like this large scale 57 Chevy that I hope he shows on a video soon. But anyway, it is, it will blow you away, the detail. It was at, uh, it was at uh, Acme as well. I believe that car was at Acme, but um, Gary's work is phenomenal. Wanted to give his uh, channel a quick shout out. He's doing some awesome little giveaways for uh, his subs and for content creators. Uh, he's painting up a few bodies, gonna do the pa custom paint job on them and he'll ship you that body if, you, if you're the winner of the, uh, of the, the contest, so to speak. But anyway, just go check out Hanging with Mr. G Seeds, and that's again Gary Seeds, stand up guy, as nice as could be, a wealth of knowledge for the uh, community. And uh, if you ever met him in person, he is, he just wants to tell you how he does it. Uh, he told me, and I forgot everything in like five seconds. But anyway, thanks, Gary, for your uh, bringing your knowledge to the hobby. And uh, you guys go check him out. All right, so let me go check on this body. All right, well, I think that this is going to be fine. I'm not even going to chance taking this one off and doing it over with the other decal. Let's see if I can find anything on the sheet that's got any reason for it to be. Like, I don't see, I don't see anything. I see a crease. That might have been where I was cutting with the, uh, the scissors, but I don't see anything. This sheet came with white ones as well, which they did mean no good. And then there's the stripe for a Super B. But anyway, some other uh, miscellaneous Mopar decals. Um, so it's looking good. Uh, I'm happy with it. That took like five minutes. Actually, as long as I just mentioned about uh, Gary Seeds, that's how long it was in the uh, egg incubator slash dehydrator. And it's looking great. So my dilemma other than I've got to take a razor now and cut out where the bare metal foil is and i don't think that's gonna be a bad job other than that we're geez sorry we're in good shape i think i am going to clear this because of the decals they look fine they have a little gloss to them but i think i might clear it although the the paint 
turned out just great. Wouldn't need a clear coat, but I'm gonna do it for the protection of my decals and stuff anyway, and give those decals as much gloss as the body. But yeah, that paint job turned out something schmancy. Um, I did paint the Plymouth and the GTX on the back. Um, I put my tail lights in, they're just chrome, and I dripped uh, stop light red metallic testers paint down in there to give the uh, tail lights the look. I uh, did the same thing with the marker lights. That's testers stop red stop light metallic, and this is the stop light or uh, amber turn signal amber color right there. But as far as that goes, that will do it. I think I will get this thing together now and turn this camera around talk to you just for one more second but whoa it's bright so I think that's gonna do it um, I don't think I'll have any reason now to do any more update videos I am super stoked on how this thing is turning out and looking mishaps yes luckily I was able to get another decal sheet uh, I think next time if I do anything custom I will order two decal sheets just for the reason of you never know um, but thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate your support. I hope to see you guys down in JaxCon where you can see this. I'll, you'll see it in my videos and others videos I'm sure, but if it makes it down, I'm not done with it yet. It could fall off the bench and break into a million pieces. But anyway, if it does make it to JaxCon, you'll see it in the video, I'm sure. Uh, then the reveal will be on March 15th. I'll have a reveal video for this particular car, which is going to be really cool. We'll all, all of our uh, content creators that have been uh, in on this build we will all do those reveals on march the 15th N don't you guys do it any earlier uh let's all do it on the same day flood the youtube with the uh, gtx's but i'm grateful for your support thanks for all uh, that you do thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do check out hobby nut models where that paint there came from um uh, also, the engine, AK engine paint, um, go check out Mark's inventory over at HobbyNutModels.com. It's linked in the description of this video, as well as the rest of them. And don't forget to go check out the Facebook group, uh, Model Car Videos Facebook group. It's in the description of the video. Answer three questions, you're in. Answer two questions, you're not in. Answer one question, you're not in. Answer three questions, and you're in. And uh, you're good to go and you can share your wealth of knowledge with the rest of the over 3,000 people that are on there. Check out the Spring Store, grab yourself a nice t-shirt or a coffee mug. And to my Patreon members, thank you so much for your support in that way. Give this video a like if you like it. And you, one or two people, I don't even have to tell you because you're going to give it a thumbs down anyway. But thanks for watching. Alright guys, I'm out of here. i got to get to work on this and uh, we will see you on the next video. You all take care.